Yesterday we saw a video of a small barrage constructed on a small stream called Malana Khad. Probably Khad is a local language for the stream in Himalchi language. Now this Malana Khad is a small stream of Parvati River. And the Parvati River drains into the Pyas River which are seen here at, at uh, near, near Bunda in the, in the Kulu. Now uh, the, the, the overflowing water of that particular barrage is suspected to, uh, to, 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 to erode the soft sediment which are confined to one flank of the barrage. If that happens, then there are chances that the barrage may collapse and if that happens, then this river, which has witnessed a major flood three weeks ago, as you can see the flood has been lying right on top of, uh, right on the bank of the river, the similar situation may arise. Fortunately, it has not happened. We have come here really to see if there is an increase in the water discharge or not. It is not. More, more importantly, authority has taken a cognizance of this situation and they have, they have alerted every, everyone. Now, what is the question? I am trying to uh, add. The question I am trying to address is that the barrage which is constructed in Malana area is located in a paraglacial zone. Now, in the paraglacial zone, I have been repeating that it river not only carry water, it carry enormous amount of sediment during unusual weather event. And the sediment means not sand only, big boulders. Now, when these boulders are being transported under the hyper concentrated flow, they they either knock the structure or sometimes they they clog the gates of the barrage. In this particular case, it has been said that the radio gates of the barrage are are not been able to they are not been able to open it up because of the city. Now, what has it happened first time? The answer is no. It has, it has happened in 2013 in a, in a, in a, in a near, in the Alagranda Valley near Vishnu Priya. There is a project called Vishnu Priya Hydropower Project. Exactly the similar thing happened. Eight meter radial gate got stuck by the big boulder that was carried by a tributary of the Alagranda called Kiro Ganga. As a consequence, the water started overflowing and one side of the, of the barrage, which was dominated by the soft sediment, those got eroded. And once that happened, the sudden surge of water in the downstream area devastated a small settlement called Pandukesar. And you all know there is a big settlement called Govind Ghat. So, <coughs> what we have learned? We have learned nothing. So, my request to the engineers, the planners and the environmentalists is that please think seriously when you are venturing into harnessing the river water in the area which are located in the valleys that were vacated by the glacier. In, in, the, in the recent geological path, we call this valley as a paraglacial valley. We have to devise the method and techniques to, 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 to operate the gates even in a situation like this when not only the water and the sediment are really flushing the whole area.